بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين There is something in your life that you did not earn and do not own yet it is given to you all the time This thing is this moment and the next moment and all of the moments of your existence there are no good reasons to show that we own these moments of our existence or that we deserve another moment of our life. Therefore, if someone has given us something that we haven't earned and something that we don't own, then at least that should instill a sense of gratitude in our hearts. Who should we be grateful to? Obviously, the one who created life and gave it to us. The God Almighty. On this account alone, we owe a debt to the Creator, which you can hardly repay. Gratitude in Islam is a form of worship. According to Islam, one of our foremost duties is to be grateful to God for all of His blessings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in Surah An Nahl, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. وَاشْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ And be grateful for the graces of Allah if it is He whom you worship. But are we thankful to Allah? Do we show our gratitude to Him? In Surah Yunus, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَذُو فَضْلٍ عَلَى النَّاسِ وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَهُمْ لَا يَشْكُرُونَ Truly, Allah is full of bounty to mankind but most of them are ungrateful. Brothers and sisters, being ungrateful to God is irrational to say the least, and it is a form of spiritual and intellectual malaise. But how can one be thankful to God? Three levels of thankfulness can be outlined. The first is to realize and appreciate all blessings by and within the heart. Secondly, to say thanks with the tongue, and thirdly, to express gratitude by doing righteous deeds. In other words, the first level is the appreciativeness and gratefulness that we feel in our hearts, then we fortify that thankfulness through our speech, and the third level is when we prove by our deeds that we are truly thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As we open the Quran, the first chapter starts with Alhamdulillah, which is translated as all prayers is for God. In reality, the word Alhamdulillah signifies gratitude in our everyday lives. Hence, when someone asks how we are, Muslim often responds with Alhamdulillah. Similarly, Islam teaches us to be thankful throughout the day for waking up from sleep after eating our meals, beginning or completing any work, etc. In this way, one's entire life should revolve around gratitude to God. In Surah Ar-Rahman, the Almighty asks the same question more than 30 times. Which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? Allah has created us and then made this world for us. We are getting benefit from all of his creations, such as the sun, moon, clouds, rain, air, grasslands, animals, plants, oceans, and countless other bounties of the natural world. After realizing all this abundance, how can a sensible person be anything but thankful to God? Allah reminds us in Surah Al-Isra, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. تُسَبِّحُ لَهُ السَّمَاوَاتُ السَّبْعُ وَالْأَرْضُ وَمَنْ فِيهِنْ وَإِنْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ إِلَّا يُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِهِ وَلَكِنَّ لَا يَفْقَهُونَ تَسْبِيحَهُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ حَلِيمًا غَفُورًا The seven heavens and the earth and all who dwell in them give glory to him. There is not a single thing that is not chanting his praise, yet you cannot understand their praise. He is ever forbearing most forgiving. Ironically, we humans are the only ones who forget to be grateful to Him. The Almighty ends the above verse by emphasizing that He is forgiving. 
It is for this reason that we are not punished right away. Rather, he gives us time to realize our mistakes and make amends. Naturally, at times we may wonder whether it is truly beneficial to be grateful to God. In the Quran, the Almighty answers, La in shakartum la azidannakum. If you are thankful, I will add more favors unto you. But if you show ingratitude, then my punishment is terrible indeed. This verse proves that our gratitude is beneficial for us alone, and our ingratitude is harmful to us alone. The intelligent individuals who comprehend this basic principle of Islam are referred to as those who are wise, who possess a mature and comprehending intellect. Prophet Ibrahim describes Allah's blessings in the most beautiful way in Surah Ash-Shu'ara. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alladhi khalaqani fa huwa yahdin wa alladhi huwa yut'imuni wa yusqin wa idha maridtu fa huwa yashfin wa alladhi yumituni thumma yuhyin wa alladhi atma'u an yaghfira li khati'ati yawm ad-din. It is he who created me and it is he who guides me and it is he who feeds me and gives me drink and when I am ill it is he who cures me and who will cause me to die and then bring me to life and who I hope will forgive me my faults on the day of judgment. Another example of gratitude is that of Prophet Sulaiman salam. The Quran mentions that he said in Surah An-Naml Rabbi awzi'ni an ashkura ni'mataka allati an'amta alayya wa ala walidayya wa an a'mala salihan tarudahu wa adkhilni bi rahmatika fi ibadika salihin My Lord, enable me to be grateful for your favor which you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents and to do righteousness of which you approve and admit me by your mercy into the ranks of your righteous servants. In Surah An-Nisa of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us simple question. مَا يَفْعَلُ اللَّهُ بِعَذَابِكُمْ إِنْ شَكَرْتُمْ وَآمَنْتُمْ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ شَاكِرًا عَلِيمًا What can Allah gain by your punishment if you are grateful and you believe? God always rewards gratitude and He knows everything. According to tradition of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us 70 times more than a mother loves her child. In another tradition, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah is pleased with his servant if when he eats something he thanks Allah for it, and when he drinks something he thanks Allah for it. Finally, keep in mind that when we thank Allah, we are the ones who benefit. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Waman Yashkur Fa in Nama Yashkuru Linafsi. And whoever is grateful is grateful for the benefit of himself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not need our thanks, but it is we who need him. Without Allah, we would be in a state of lost. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Falawla Fadlullahi Alaikum Rahmatuhu Lakum Tummin al Khasirin. And if not for the favor of Allah upon you and His mercy, you would have been among the losers. We will never be able to count all of His blessings upon us, since they are innumerable. Gratitude is in itself a blessing from Almighty Allah. If Allah had not endowed us with the ability to express gratitude to Him, we could not have done this ourselves. The least we can do right now, brothers and sisters, is to express our gratitude to Allah Almighty for all of His countless blessings that we know and know not, for the previous ones and the forthcoming, for the obvious and hidden, big and small. Let us recite Surah Al-Fatiha with such an intention. May Allah give us wisdom and tawfiq to be grateful and give thanks for all the blessings in our hearts, with our tongues, and through our actions.